At the end of a long corridor, located on Holly Terrace in the Great Mausoleum, stands a nine-foot-tall sculpture of a figure in armor. Completed in 1948 by the Italian artist Gino Verlecchi, it is a replica of Donatello's famous statue of St. George. Donatello was among the greatest sculptors of the Italian Renaissance. He was born in Florence in the late 1300s and died in 1466. Although he worked on projects in Rome and Padua, the artist spent most of his career in his native Florence. He sculpted in numerous media, including stone, bronze, wood, clay, stucco, and wax. Donatello completed his sculpture of St. George around the year 1415. It was commissioned by the Sword Makers and Armorers Guild to help decorate the Church of Or San Michele in Florence. More than a dozen of the city's guilds commissioned sculptures of various saints to adorn niches on the exterior of the building. St. George was a soldier, and according to legend, he was a dragon slayer. He was also the patron saint, a mascot of sorts, for the Sword Makers and Armorers Guild. Beneath the original artwork, Donatello sculpted a small relief of the saint battling a dragon. The sculpture was moved inside the Bargello Museum in Florence, and a replica now stands at the initial location. The setting of Forest Lawn St. George bears some resemblance to the original, but there are a few important differences. At Forest Lawn, the artwork is framed by a Gothic niche that is even more elaborate than the one in Florence. It is composed of various shades of white and red marble. The niche was designed by Forest Lawn's architecture department, although it was carved by the Solazzini studio in Florence. The four surrounding figures were sculpted by another 20th century Florentine artist, Cesare Fiumi. These small statues symbolize different virtues. In the lower left is a woman with a cross, who represents faith. In the upper left is Jesus, who symbolizes charity. The mother and child in the lower right represent love, while the woman with scales and a sword in the upper right is a figure of justice. The statue stands tall and alert. His confident pose makes him appear as if he is a guardian, watching over a vast space. For the original artwork, the guild crafted a sword and helmet, which the statue may have worn on special days, such as the Feast of St. George. Unfortunately, these accessories disappeared long ago, and Forslan did not commission a sword or helmet to accompany the replica. The shield, which is attached to the figure, is a prominent part of the sculpture. Observant viewers will notice that the cross of St. George is emblazoned on the shield. In polychrome images, the saint's cross is red and white, as in this medieval manuscript. This cross is also featured on the flag of England, as George is the country's patron saint. From the niche to the ribbed vault on the ceiling, the setting of Forest Lawn statue is stunning. But unfortunately, this is a private section of the Great Mausoleum. However, there is a different copy on public display. A towering marble replica, approximately 16 feet tall, is part of Forest Lawn's Court of the Masters, located in Covina Hills, less than 30 miles east of Glendale.